video, we're going to look at how to convert between moles of one substance and moles of another substance um, using a chemical reaction. And this is called stoichiometry, or stoic for short. Okay. So when you have a chemical reaction, um, remember that we always balance it using these numbers in front that we call coefficients. So these coefficients, on a really small scale, represent numbers of molecules. So two molecules of H2 would react with one molecule of O2 if you have no coefficient in front, it's like a coefficient of one, to create two molecules of H2O. It's a two to one uh, molecule ratio, essentially. Or, on a larger scale, we can scale up by a factor of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, because that's what a mole is, and these coefficients can represent mole ratios. For every two moles of H2, one mole of O2 would react to create two moles of H2O. Um, so if you remember last chapter, when we were doing formulas and finding subscripts, we always had to be in moles um, to get that mole ratio to find those subscripts. And it's going to be similar here. Whenever we're using coefficients in a reaction, we've got to be in moles to use them because these also represent a mole ratio or mole relationship. For every two moles of H2 that react, one mole of O2 would react to create two moles of H2O. These are not telling me mass relationships. It's not telling me for every two grams of H2, I need one gram of O2. It's giving me mole relationships. So in this chapter, again, when in doubt, mole it out. Okay, so again, it's telling me for every one mole of CH4 in this reaction, I would need two moles of O2 to create one mole of CO2 and two moles of H2O. Those are what those coefficients, so one to two to one to two ratio. So instead of starting with one mole of CH4, if I were to start with two moles of, H of CH4, how many moles of O2 would I need to react with it? That one to two ratio would still hold true. So if I started with two moles of CH4, I would need four moles of O2 to maintain that one to two ratio. And then two moles of CO2 would be made and four moles of H2O. If I started with three moles of CH4, I would need six moles of O2 to react with it because it's still maintaining this one to two ratio. These coefficients represent the lowest whole number ratios of moles um, that are needed or produced for this reaction. Okay, so we can say these are stoichiometrically equivalent quantities if you want to be fancy. But basically, these mole ratios are going to allow us to convert between substances in this reaction. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to make conversion factors. So if I start with one mole of CH4, um, I'm always going to need two moles of O2 to react with it. So if I have a starting amount of O2, I can use this as a, co uh, um, a conversion factor to change between moles of O2 and moles of CH4. Okay, or I can change between moles of CO2 and moles of O2. I can essentially convert between any of these substances in the reaction by making a ratio. Moles of the one thing I, um, I have, moles of the one thing I need, and these numbers in front are coming from coefficients. Okay, so these are going to function as conversion factors. So let's look at an example of where we would use this, and this is called stoichiometry. How many moles of water are formed if I'm starting with 1.47 moles of CH4? If you notice, here's the reaction. If I were to start with one mole of CH4, two moles of water would be made because it's a one to two ratio. But I want to know how many moles of water would be made if I start with 1.47 moles. So we're going to do this out with dimensional analysis. Start with what you have in the problem statement. I put the number, and notice I'm going to be very specific about what my unit is. Not only moles, but moles of what? Moles of CH4. Why am I going to be so specific? Because I'm going to end up changing this into something else. Moles of water. So I'm changing my unit. So you want to be very specific. Put your unit, moles, um, and also put what substance it's referring to. Okay, so if I think about my conversion factor, I have moles of CH4, so I want a conversion factor that has moles of CH4 in the bottom, and I want to have moles of H2O um, ending, that's what I want. So I want a 
moles of H2O on the top. Where am I going to get these numbers in my conversion factor? They're going to come from the coefficients in my equation, my balanced chemical reaction. So CH4 is a coefficient of 1, so I'm going to put a 1 there. H2O has a coefficient of 2, so I'm going to put a 2 on top. This is called stoichiometry, or stoic. It's where you're using your coefficients to represent the mole ratios of these substances. And this is what's going to allow me to convert from moles of one thing, in this case moles of CH4, because they would cancel out, into moles of a different substance, moles of H2O. So I can convert from reactant to a different reactant, or reactant to product, or product to product. I can just relate moles of anything in this reaction to each other. Take a moment, try this example, and then check your work. How many moles of oxygen gas must react completely with 6.5 moles of Al? So I'm going to start with what I have. I have 6.5 moles, and be specific, moles of Al. I want to change this to moles of oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is O2. It's one of my diatomic molecules. OK, I remember half sprinkle. So I want a conversion factor where I have moles of Al on the bottom so that they cancel, and I want to end with moles of O2 on top. And I get what goes into my conversion factor by the coefficients. Al has a coefficient of 4, so that goes there. O2 has a coefficient of 3. Remember, in order to use these coefficients, I have to be in moles. If I were to start with grams, let's say, then I'd have to mole it out first before I use these coefficients, and we'll look at that in the next lesson. So in my, in my um, calculator, I'm doing 6.5 times 3 divided by 4, and I get um, 4.88 or 4.9 if you want to round to two sig figs. Okay, notice moles of Al cancel out. I've now changed al moles of aluminum into moles of oxygen gas. Take one more moment, try this example, and then check your work. Okay, so I'm just going to start. Be very specific about your unit. 9.2 moles, moles of what? Moles of lithium, Li. I want to change it into moles of Li3n. So I want a conversion factor that has moles of Li on the bottom and moles of Li3n on top. How do I relate moles of one thing to moles of another? Using the coefficients of the reaction. This is called stoichiometry. Okay, so the 6 moles of Li goes on bottom because it has a coefficient of 6. And Li3n, lithium nitride, has a coefficient of 2. Moles of Li will cancel out, and I'll end up with moles of lithium nitride.